Say, oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. Give me your wisdom. Give me your wisdom. Your knowledge. Your knowledge. Your understanding. Your understanding. And the grace. And the grace. To keep standing. To keep standing. In you. In you. By your side. By your side. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For dying. For dying. In my place. In my place. On the cross, on the cross, at Calvary. At Calvary. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Good morning. Second Peter, one, twenty, twenty-one. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of Scripture is of any private interpretation, for prophecy never came by the will of man. But holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Whatever I do is becoming less. Whoa, where? I've not forgiven my dad. I confirm the prophecy. My name is... My name is Wanda Fesetoloho. I am from Botswana. Uh, my biological father... He has hurt me, and I had find it so difficult to forgive him. How do I know? It's God. Why are you so surprised? I have been praying that God locates me, and he helps me to forgive my father because I love him so much. He's my everything. I don't have a mother. He's my only parent, but he has hurt me so much. He has neglected me, and I also have a child of my own. His father also rejected him. When you were conceived in your mother's womb, the father had an issue with your mom. Your mom is a hard-working lady. Yes, that's very true. And she is a commanding lady. Yes, that's very true. That's what I always hear from my relatives that grew up with her. She could rule over your father. Yes. Twist him, take him like a kid. Very true. She was a stubborn lady. That is why your father hated your mom and you. Because the mom mistreated him too much. Yes, that's very true, man of God. My mother, whom has passed away before, he, her and my father used to fight a lot because my mother was so stubborn and she didn't like to be controlled by my father. So they were always fighting. And my mother was also a hardworking woman. And that is what sent him just across, just near to pick that woman. My father ended up leaving, cheating my, my mother with another woman whom he has married now. Um, my father used to be a police officer at Orapa Mine in Botswana. He was working there and my, myself and my mother used to visit him. And this lady, my stepmother, I've heard that she was staying in the same street across the street that my father was staying. This was is what staying. I'm saying. Yes. That's very true, man of God. Come on, what do That's my stepmother. A brown lady. Yes, very true. She is brown in complexion. She resembles her, yeah. Now you believe? Yes. <laughs> I dreamt this God man calling me and giving me prophecies. If I go there, he doesn't give me prophecy. He will see me. Yes. That's, that's what I was saying, I confess. <laughs> that's why I came straight to you. Yes, and I've also dreamed about you three times. If he's a true man of God, he will come to me and give me the prophecy. <laughs> if he doesn't give me prophecy, I know, I will know that he's a liar. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> very true man of God, that's very true man of but God. That's why I came straight to you and I said, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. 
men of God. You are a true man and of this God. And you say you have a son. The son. Yes, and the father doesn't help me taking care of. I'm all alone. Because you, um, too, you're like your mom. Oh, I'm like my mother. You are authoritative. It's very true, man. That of is God. why this your boyfriend decided to take another. Girl. Yes, man of God, what you're saying is true. My boyfriend has left me. The grandmom also the same. Two houses. Yes, man of home. God. Yes, at home. My, my grandfather was a polygamist. He had two wives. And my grandmother was the second wife. There were two houses next to each other. The other one was for my. How do I know? Jesus. The sister from Botswana receiving deliverance. I confirm that you are a true man of God because the other day I had a dream and you were delivering me in the dream. The, the same spot that I had felt is the same spot that I had felt physically. That's where you delivered me in the dream. This is my wife standing here. And that's my daughter. Where well, bright is my name coming from Copper Zambia. My name is Lydia Kapenda. My church is having a heart condition. Man of God, you couldn't sleep since we came. The child, you people complaining. Let the mama remember the five tablets. What the man of God is saying is truth. I say that since it's my first pregnancy. I was told and this is some ways that these drugs are very important than the one we get when pregnant. The five tablets. They were five. Very expensive. I even give them even at my health facility where I'm working from. Then I started experiencing someone who was six months. Like sometimes I won't feel my baby in my belly. When I go for scan, I ask the doctor every month I used to go for scan. Until I even given birth, I like can no more. I couldn't manage, so they did even a cesarean section on me. You got a dream. Somebody came. Yes. And they picked the baby. Yes, man of God. Baby. Yes, man of God. And it was a woman. I even told him my husband that most of the time when I have a dream, he doesn't pay attention to them. <laughs> I dreamt a lady like grabbing the baby from me. Then I said it. Praying. I told him that that lady is coming out from the gates. Bonus! Jesus. A woman leave her baby, go and come back no more. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are free. Thank you, Jesus. But let me ask you a question. Gentlemen, this is your wife. Yes, man of God. Who is the other woman not happy? Uh, he has the... Jesus. The lady looks like her exactly. Grabbing your Yes, child. I told him. You, you told him? Man of God. Yes, man of God. She did tell me. Man of God. I told him. Because of this, we're having misunderstanding at home. I told him, this is the lady I saw. Then and him, he was busy. You just imagine. You like thinking too much, too much and talking. I told him, I saw a lady moving out see, from this house. See, and since then, my child has stopped walking. I confirm, man of God. Uh... But the lady in question, man of God, was just more like a girlfriend, I would say, of which even before we got married, my wife, I explained to her. And I've got even the letter where they charged me, like, within two months, I should pay an amount of 7,000 for that damage, of which I did pay, man of God. They are kind of, like, demanding more and more from me. And even there are people from their land also told me, like, no, this is not fair they are doing to you now. And they have even... Yes, man of God, he told me even before we got married. Special brother. Have your baby back. Special prayer going on as the man of God prays for Sister Lydia from Zambia. For the baby to be restored back to her.
Spiritually. It is well. It is well. It is well in the name of Thank Jesus. You, Jesus. you get money. Get five thousand dollar. Pay the other woman and seal it off. I'll do it, man of God. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank it you is much. well. It is well. It is well in the name of Jesus. Thank you, it Jesus. Well Thank you, Jesus. My, soul today. my name is Jacinta. I'm a Kenyan, but I reside in Canada. Mm. But you left her sick. Yeah, that was my mom who passed away. The regrets, and you are lamenting so much. Yeah, when I went back to Canada, she told me she wasn't feeling well. And when she went to see the doctor, she told me the doctor said she could not find the sickness. And uh, she went back home. And uh, when she went back home, it was just around afternoon. And evening, she called me, and she passed away. Ever since that time, you have never found any peace. That's now, human three God. men have left you. Yes, Very man of God. important men. Yes, man of God. Whenever you get disappointment, you see your mom. Yes, man of God, what you said is true. I led by three men. One was pilot, the other one was doctor, and the other one was a member of parliament. Now you are lamenting with somebody who is not even your ears, twisted up and down. You say, this is not my son. This yes, you man of God, what you say, and I confirm uh, it true. That my mom's always come to my dream, and she always, like, she's coming to take me. Every day since she passed, I dream with her every day, and I don't have any peace. And the sickness has started on you? I have that sickness, pain. The back. I have a back pain, little pain. It starts pains. from the back, and it comes in front here. <laughs> yeah, that's true, man of God. Fine. Let me set you free for the salvation of your soul. Father, set her free. So Jacinta receiving her freedom. Be healed in Jesus' holy name. Now you are free. Go and live for another 35 years. It is the land issue which brought problem. Yes, man of God. Jina langu ni Beatrice Lamalwa. My name is Beatrice Lamalwa. Kutoka Kenya. I come from Kenya. Tukona shida ya shamba. Mzazi wangu alikufa, akaacha shamba. Lakini We have land wrangles. When my parents died, they left property with us. Sasa imeshika mahali ndugu za baba yangu wameichukua the two, the two of them. Yes. So my two uncles took that property that was left by my parents. Kile ambacho Mungu amesema kupitia ndani mwako mtumishi wa Mungu ni ukweli. So what the man of God has said is true. Let us remove this issue. Wacha tuitoe. Sasa Beatrice is being delivered. Father, they are your children. Baba ni watoto wako. Provide them a solution. I saw you pointing at the sun. Where is him? The sun is in Namibia. My name is Abia Shikare. I'm from Namibia. What men of God is saying is true. My son is worrying me too much because he is disorientated in his life. He is drinking too much. He um, can't complete education. Come, let us put him in Christ Jesus. My hallelujah belongs to you. Father, we put the son who worries her too much in your hand. Who is your husband? My name is Dean Finn from Kenya. Because you are still quarreling. Yes, even yesterday I dreamt. Even I have a friend here. I told her yesterday. Every day I dream. That man, we are fighting. 
Even he comes to our home, he wants to fight me with a vest and red, red, red eyes. He wants to fight me. I tell this girl, now what is wrong Your with friend. this? Uh-huh. Yeah. My name is Sarah Makada from Kenya. Mm. I confirm what she said. She dreamt yesterday. Real trouble. You don't rest. You don't have I peace. don't rest, man of God. Even my parents, they are telling me every day, what, go even to Kakande, because now my mom is a pastor is here, and my father was an MP in our place for 10 good years. So they, are, they, are, they have a church. They tell me you are the firstborn. But now your marriage every day has a problem. This man drinks alcohol. He comes to, 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 to post my, my parents in Facebook because he just wants to disgrace them. Now I, I said, I don't want to, to be a woman who has many men. Let me to go to Kakande. He tells me the way. Be free in Jesus' soul. And, uh, what is it? My name is Sarah Makada from Kenya. She's the one who introduced me to Kakande Ministries. Mm. Man of God, I just want to know the root cause of my, my daughter's sickness. Every year she is sick. Every year she is sick. Now she is now sick on your ulcer. That even resisted medication. I went everywhere, but nothing happened, man of God. I want you to remember this house. And there was a fence, a herbal house. People go to consult there. I went to a witch doctor. The structure is exactly the way man of God has put here. Whatever the charm they gave you over there, this is what is affecting the girl. Man of God, what you said is true. I went to a witch doctor. Then she gave me some herbal drugs. Then she sprinkled on her face. Uh-huh. Then at night, that night, the girl did not even sleep until I gave her Panadol to release the pain. Jesus, forgive me for the salvation of my mm-hmm. soul. The Deuteronomy 28, 28 says what? The Lord will strike you mm-hmm. with madness mm-hmm. and blindness and confusion of madness heart. Madness and blindness and confusion of heart. Uh-huh. And you shall grow up at noonday as a blind man grows in darkness. You shall not prosper in your ways. You shall be only oppressed and plundered continually, and no one shall save you. Be healed in Jesus' holy name. Mama, Fungua Macho. Fungua Macho. Office gave me three hundred dollars for my. Giriman Guillaume Pacific and I'm from Rwanda. Hey. So it's just unique. That place near the valley that is where many things were done. But my name is Abiri Mukombe. I'm coming from Zambia. I work under the Department of National Parks and Wildlife. My lucky, I'm a principal wildlife police officer. I confirm during our operation near to the valley, yes, things happen, man of God. That is what is troubling your life. 
And that is the dream you always get. The dream. That is true, man of God. You have gone back to the very, that place. Oh, God. Yes, I always dream. And this dream always comes to me. And uh, from that time, I don't have very good luck even at my job. I have been a senior person for quite a long time. But since that, things have never been okay on my side and to my family. Your heart always feel weak. That's very true. Even God. running like this, you can no longer run. That is true, man of God. Feel... I sometimes we've been walking, been coming on the up, on the upstairs here. Sometimes I feel very weak. Have your life back in Jesus' holy name. Open your heart. You can. Walk Thank you, Lord. And, and Thank you, Lord. I'm saved. Thank you, Lord, and this is very true. This is very true. We've never met the man of God, and this is very true what has told me. I'm coming from Cafe National Park in Zambia, and it's far in the bush. No one knows that place, I think, in this house. Only a few, maybe. But what the man of God has told me here today, Prophet Samuel Kakande, is very true. How's your body now, sir? Well, yeah. <laughs> ah, ah, <laughs> it's new. Yeah. Now you're a young ah, boy. I'm okay, man of God. Yeah. Jesus is not here to ashamed you, to destroy you. He's here to redeem you, to make you stand stronger than before, Amen. to follow him up to heaven. Amen. The first house, the second house, but the third house, it is the one which has brought problem. It is where, it is where. It is well in the name of Jesus, it is well. My name is Andrew Kowe Tantunga from Malawi. Uh, what you have said from the memory that I have, I was staying in a place. There, there was the first block, second block, and this is the third block, and I was staying in a house number three. And now I got transferred and I'm no longer staying in this place. I'm staying in a different place. And it is in that house where my son started to get sick. And my child was born nicely. But uh, one day he was sitting on a chair. And we just found him down. So we thought sickness had come. We went to the hospital. They never diagnosed him with anything. From that time he could collapse even 20 times a day. When I was coming here, I said, man of God. Let me know the root cause of the problem of my son who has been very sick. Brother Andrew from Malawi. Father, remove this problem from him. Settle him, his home, his finances, and Jesus, all in them, we pray. You have suffered with your finances. Ever since that time, from that house, you have lost. Look. It is over. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me from this problem. And what man of God you are saying is very true. My finances have been stagnant ever since. It is over. Amen. All these are contracts. Go and get money. The Lord Jesus wants you to turn to him because he has a lot for you. Hallelujah. Amen. He died for you. He paid so much for you. Why should you bother? What is it? <coughs> See what is happening to this lady? <laughs> 
We are the three kids. My name is Francois. I live in Denmark, but I come from Burundi originally. Man of God was to say this true. I got three children. Two of them are dead. I have one back, one son back. The remaining. Where's the Toma? It must be my son. He's very tall. And the father is not tall. Yes, true, man of God. My previous husband looks like him. And my son, I have, looks like him also. You are strong in spirit, man of God. Where is that purple skirt? Don't remember. Man of God, what you said is true. I remember I had this uh, skirt. It had a tie here, and then it goes like this. Yes, it's a long time ago, yes. A long time ago at the drinking place. Man of God, what you said is true. I remember that I wear this when I was with my friends at, at the bar. It was tight. And uh, long. That is when that evil spirit troubling your stomach entered you. True. Yes, it's true. Thank you. It man. appears into men, sometimes an animal. This is very strange. It's not good for you. It's true, men of God. I dream when animals, crocodiles or serpents. Uh, Attack, attacking me. It's true, and the men attacking me in my house. It's true, men of God. I have bad dreams in the night. The problem is now my son, he drinks too much. Taking alcohol is a family issue. Yeah, it's true, men of God. From my family side, my mother's side, they drink too much. And they, I have lost my cousin because, because of, of alcohol. This is the issue. Yes, yes, it's true, men of God. My name is Sharon Asieko from Kenya. Ever since he disappointed you, you went down into depression. Yes, man of God. I was in a relationship with a guy and he made me pregnant. And at that time I had ran away from home. My friend told me, you should go back home because you are living with a friend who can't take care of you. Since I was pregnant, I decided to go back home. And when I went back home with that pregnancy, find my mother and my stepfather there. I told her, Mom, I am pregnant. And the man of that child refused to take the responsibility. And at that time, my age was 19 years old. So my mother asked me, what is your decision with this child? I told my mother I am ready to keep the child because I really loved that guy, but he really refused the child. But my mother told me, no, we should abort because I don't want the shame in the family. I aborted. Ever since that I aborted that child, I have depression. Jesus, forgive me for all my sins that I ever done into my life. For the salvation of my soul. Now you'll be able to go abroad. You'll be there for three years. See, the lady here is dashed by God's power. She's being delivered. Come on! The bar! In the name of Jesus Christ. No, I'm not going. I'm not going. She's my wife. This is hard, huh? I'm in her poor. Can't you see this suffering? And you can't deliver. You can't deliver. You can't deliver. No. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
go and come back to me. You were confused about the marriage issue. And this is what makes you lament. My name is Mapendo Mwarabu. I'm from Kenya. I've been having confusion about marriage. I was in an affair uh, with the father of my kid, and I had a kid. And uh, we later on separated. But ever since... What about the medium man? Yes, I met this medium man here in Uganda when I had come for an outreach. This Not man will never take you. I didn't know this person was married, but he, he had a family here in Uganda. He is taking you nowhere. Yes. Can you forget about him? Yes, man of God. He's still calling you? Yes, he does. He's fake. Yes, man of God. Being delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I command the spirit of killing, stealing, destruction out. The Father in heaven, I am Babam. You dreamt that you were abroad yes. with a yes. man and two kids. Yes, man of God. I had a dream once that I'll, I have two kids and I was in abroad. You get. Your husband there, not from Kenya. Amen. At first you say you want a white man, but you change it again, you say you want a black man. Yes. So, uh, is a, a tall black man, it's not a white man. Man of God, what you said is true. At first I thought of having a white man, but later on, I, I just felt in my heart that I want a black man. <laughs> The lady was disappointed. And this is what you are lamenting. Thank you very much. Man of God, my name is Duncan Onyango, coming from Kenya. We had a lady uh, back in 2009. We had a relationship. We had a baby boy. And after that, we separated. She was not happy because I cheated on her. And I confirm the prophecy you, to be true. You, the whole you, to do this to me. I've left the three men and I come for you and you do this. Oh, how can you do this to me? Okay, go to your home. You see what will happen and you have seen it. Man of God, what you say is true. The lady even was supporting me financially when I had no job. And uh, after our breakup, she was very bitter. I tried asking for her forgiveness, telling me that I will never have peace in my life. And it is very true, because everything I try doing does not seem to go well with me. I've tried doing business since 2018, but nothing good is coming my way. I ask God to forgive me for the salvation of my soul. Father, forgive him. Mr. Duncan Onyango is being delivered in Jesus' name. Father, he's also your son. Forgive him for the salvation of his soul. Have peace in Jesus' holy name. Now, everything will go on well with you. Money, whatever, it will go well with you.